Welcome back to another episode of RJC Outdoors. In today's episode, guys, I am doing a review on the Light Flight Strike Master Auger. Uh, it's an 8 inch auger. I'll be talking about the modifications I made to a non brushless drill to make this thing work. And I've already used it and it works really well. So let's get right into it. All right, we'll start with the blades here. It comes with a cover for the blades. The blades are chipper blades. And a uh, neat feature I really like is that that point start. It really makes it so you're not weaving back and forth and possibly gonna chop a toe off. That guides you straight into your hole. Then we'll move on to the flights themselves. Uh, it's a hard composite plastic um, to really eliminate a lot of that weight that a lot of augers have. Um, I'm not sure of the weight on it right off hand, but it is light. They come in separate sections, so just in case if one breaks, um, you could buy a replacement flight for it, and I think they're fairly cheap. Moving on to the head, you will need a half inch chuck. It also comes with this disc that's roughly 10 inches in diameter if you've got the 8 inch auger blade. Makes it nice so when you're drilling down and you go too far, this helps prevent it from falling down into your ice hole. I think we'll move on to the drill, the modifications I made on the non-brushless drill to uh, really make this work. I'm actually doing some fishing right now and there's a fish under one of my jigs. That's why I figured I'd do the review because I'm not getting a whole lot of action right now. Moving on to the drill, the modifications I made to it. It did not come with a half inch chuck, so I added that. Um, you can actually buy these from hardware stores running roughly around $15. But I had a buddy that had a drill that took a poop on him, so I pulled it off his drill. It's a half inch chuck. It's a Craftsman drill. Uh, it is not a brushless. It's just regular regular drill that I've had for about 12 years sitting around so I don't use it much but other than to screw a few screws into the wall here and there don't use it much so I figured I'd oh here we go oh just missed one dang just missed the fish all right moving on to the battery pack um, since this was sitting for a good 12 years, uh, the batteries go bad in them after about three, four years. They don't hold a charge. And uh, so yeah, I made an upgrade on my battery, which is a lithium ion 9.2 volt for this drill to pair it up with this drill. Um, it's got a little light indicator to see how much life it has left in it but yeah just the modifications for this drill this non brushless is the half inch chuck and the lithium ion 9.2 volt battery pretty simple let's go ahead and get out there and drill about 10 holes for you guys I'm not going to try to overwork the drill because there are reviews out there where you do not want to use a non-brushless. So I'm not going to over overwork it. If you guys want to see the progress of this drill, come down just below here and uh, subscribe to this channel. Um, go ahead and rate it. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on the review 
and uh, maybe leave me a comment too because I'm open for suggestions. I know a lot of people probably are going to recommend a brushless drill, but I'm going with this because this is what I have and I only have $30 invested in the battery pack. So let's get out there. Let's drill some holes for you guys. kind of wore me out not gonna lie so let's go through uh, the after using it review here one thing I've noticed is this bit gets loose um, I really don't know if it's just the torque or what um, I know that I do have to retighten that Allen bolt um, after drilling about 10 holes. But all in all, uh, for a $200 auger, roughly, I got mine for $190. And a $30 battery. And some of you might need to buy the half inch chuck which would be $15, so you got $245 into it. It's not a bad investment. But that's my review on the Strike Master Light Flight Auger, and I absolutely love it. I'm hoping this drill will last me at least this season, but if not, oh well. I've got plenty of fishing in with it already, so... I'm quite pleased. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of RJC Outdoors. We'll see you guys on the next one.